Hi, I'm Andrew Boyagi from Atlassian. In this video series, I'm going to show you how to create your very own developer experience platform using Compass. In this first video, we're going to talk about what a developer experience platform is and also show you what the finished product will look like once we're done with the steps in this tutorial. Before we jump into Compass, let's level set on the objectives of a developer experience platform. The main objective of a developer experience platform is to provide a great experience for software developers so they can do their best work for your organization. A good developer experience platform does this in a few different ways. Firstly, it aims to reduce the cognitive load for development teams. Put simply, this means reducing the amount of information that engineers need to remember whilst working within your organization. Secondly, a good developer experience platform promotes a healthy engineering culture, and it does this through learning and enabling continuous improvement. And finally, a good developer experience platform is easily extendable. This means that you can add any required functionality that you might need or integrate with existing software that suits your specific needs. Let's jump into Compass and explore the features of the developer experience platform we will build together in this tutorial. Let's start with the component catalog. The catalog significantly reduces cognitive load for development teams, as you no longer need to try and remember where to find information about software components or who to speak to about your upstream dependencies. The catalog initially shows us a list of all the components in our organization, as well as some high level information for each component. I'm using a demo instance of the product for the purpose of this tutorial. Let's say I'm developing a new service and I'd like to leverage the Magnetic API, but I don't know anything about this component. I simply search for the Magnetic API, click in, and I'm given all the information I need to know. I get a description on what the service is. I can see the health of the component. I can see metrics related to the component. I know which Slack channel I can use to contact the team that owns a component. I can see who's on call, a link to the code repository, the JIRA project that the team used to collaborate and manage their work. I'm given links to the documentation, everything you could need to know all in one place. Clicking on the activity tab will show me any activity that's occurred on the Magnetic API as well as any of the dependent components. This is helpful in a number of ways, but is most impactful during an incident. The activity feed can quickly help you identify any issues that may have been caused by up or downstream systems and result in reduced mean time to recover or restore over time. Speaking of upstream and downstream systems, Compass provides a nice dependency map that teams can use to identify what services they depend on and what services depend on them. We provide two views in Compass. There is a list view as well as a map view. Using our team view, we can see all the components that our team owns as well as any events that may have occurred in the, in the past few weeks. We can use the data available in Compass as a part of a ritual we call check ops. Usually in a squad ret retrospective, the facilitator will ask what was good and what could have been better in the last sprint. Then everyone tries to remember how things went over the past week what if the retro was informed with engineering data? Check Ops gives you all the data you need to have an informed discussion on how to continuously improve. Looking at the health details shows you all the events for your services. In Team Reflections, we can enter what went well, what could have gone better, how we can improve as a team, and what's really cool is you can create team actions that end up in your JIRA backlog. Having the ability to reflect and plan to improve performance within your developer experience platform works really well to promote an engineering culture of learning and continuous improvement across an organization. This is just the beginning. You can extend Compass really easily by developing your own apps and embedding them right into the product, or you can choose from a growing list of integrations already available. I've deliberately hidden our internal component view for security reasons, but you can see the Atlassian engineers have certainly extended our internal version of Compass to suit their needs. Compass makes it easy to get started with a developer experience platform that reduces cognitive load, promotes a healthy engineering culture, and is easily extendable to suit your needs. In this video, we've had a look at the developer experience platform we'll be creating together. In the next video, 
I'll show you the fastest way to get your developer experience platform started.